hello understanding pulse width modulation or pulse width variable motor speed variation we have taken a triple five timer with free running as table mode where this r and this r and this c1 they form the rc component of the timing value this is just a filtering capacitor at pin number 5 and the charging takes place for this capacitor by this route and discharging takes place by this route through pin number 7 the discharge pin so while we try to use this we'll see at this position the pulse width is the lowest and the speed of the motor is slow now as we increase the pulse width say here we find the width is increased the speed has also increased and while we increase further duty cycle or the on time it still rotates at a higher speed so this is the on time that when this is the time that for which the motor gets the supply and this time the motor is not getting the supply and that is how since the width of the pulse is varied the speed of the motor is changing accordingly so this is what is pulse width modulation or we can see this is what is called a 50% duty cycle and this is a 20% duty cycle based on this the circuit works and if you look at this we have connected a mosfet and the mosfet that we know it gets a drive from the voltage drive and that drive comes from the triple five timer the on time that means when this is high this mosfet conducts and the current flows this way so from here through the motor this way to the ground this diode is essential because of the inductive back emf which is developed during the motor has to be discharged during the off time so during the off time so this diode conducts during the on time this current flows this way in the off time whatever charge is retained here is fold is flowing this way and that is how it works in a right way for the so the similar on time or off time can be varied using a microcontroller and writing a program accordingly thank you